In this video, we're doing improper integrals that are undefined at a bound. So if we look at example one, notice that the bottom bound zero, when you plug in a zero, we have an undefined value in our function. So we're going to have to replace that temporarily with L, and we're going to approach zero. Now notice the bounds are from zero to three. So if we think about a number line from 0 to 3, when we approach 0, we're going to be approaching 0 from the right side. Now it's really important that you know the difference between is it approaching from the left or the right. So let's go ahead and get started with this one. So we're going to rewrite it as a limit as L approaches 0 from the right side we are integrating from L to 3 of 1 over root x dx. Well, that's something that's very close to what we have memorized. If we were to divide by 2 on the inside and multiply by 2 on the outside, then our integral would become 2 root x from L to 3. So now let's rewrite that as the limit as L approaches 0 from the right side, we have 2 root 3 minus 2 root L. Well, again, L is approaching 0 from the right side. The first thing we always try with a limit is to plug in. So if we were to plug in a 0 there, we would get 2 root 3. So this one converges. Let's take a look at another example. In example two, again, if we were to plug in the bottom bound into our function, it would be undefined, so we need to temporarily change that into an L. We are again approaching zero. Notice again our bounds are from zero to three, so we are going to be approaching again from the right side. And we are integrating from L to three. Now, we're going to have to do a little algebra here. Uh, 1 over x root x can be thought of as 1 over x to the 3 halves because x to the first times x to the 1 half would be x to the 3 halves. And since that's on the bottom, let's move it to the top and think of it as x to the negative 3 halves. So we're integrating x to the negative 3 halves dx. Well, when you integrate x to the negative 3 halves, you get negative 2 over root x. So now we have the limit as L approaches 0 from the right side. We have negative 2 over root x from L to 3. Well, if we plug in, we get negative 2 over root 3 minus negative 2 over, now, we have root, and we are plugging in a 0. Well, notice what happens when we plug in a 0. So we are approaching from the right side. Our picture for the function negative 2 root x is our happy picture here. And as we approach from the right side, our values go to positive infinity. We do have a double negative making a positive. So we get infinity, and this one diverges. Let's do one more example. So over here in example three, uh, this time it's our top bound that's going to cause an issue, because if we plug in, we're going to be undefined. So let's do the limit as L approaches 0. Now if we think about this as a number line, negative 1 to 0, we're approaching from the left side this time. So 0 from the left side. We are integrating from negative 1 to L of 1 over x squared dx. Well, 1 over x squared, uh, we should have memorized as being negative 1 over x. So we have the limit as L approaches 0 from the left side of negative 1 over x from negative 1 to L. If we plug in now, we get negative 1 over L minus negative 1 uh, over negative 1. 
well, well, that's a lot of negatives over there. This obviously is going to become a subtract one on this side. Now, we are approaching zero from the left side. Uh, so in this particular problem, negative one over L. So that's going to be this picture. And notice we are heading towards infinity, but we have a negative. So we have a negative infinity, and this one diverges.